Hey guys, just wanted to show you I've been working on a little uh, project with my 3D printer. So I was looking for a 3D printable ground throw and the only thing I found, or the first thing I found, was this thing on Thingiverse which it's made out of three parts and it snaps this part, top part snaps in there and slides but as you can see from the SD card it's pretty big and bulky so I thought there must be another way so I started thinking about it and I came up with this little gizmo now this is just a proof of concept that this will work so it is a cam action with so you've got a a little arm with the cam on it with a hole and this hole other hole was for the throw rod to go or wire to go to the throw rod and then you've got the indexer ears and then you've got a base with the peg on it so that's dovetailed together like the little bit of slop because I've uh, I wanted to make sure that this thing would fit together but it's also tolerance for printing it much much smaller so put that in there and and it works so but as you can see it's still pretty but bulky and I printed it extra thick just to see what I could do so I decided to shrink it down some now it's not quite uh, in scale coupler box fiddly but uh, it's the same little pieces put together except upside down and I added a couple ears but still refining the design uh, and it works so I need to bring these out and support this underneath there so it can't move up and down like that make the dovetail bigger and add a couple little uh, nail holes or screw holes or whatever out in the flange but I am impressed with the uh, I've been fine-tuning and and tweaking my printer um, and I'm impressed with the resolution that I can achieve with not just the holes I didn't expect that little teeny hole to print but also the little peg um, so I did have to ream you know clean up the flash when they print I they look like old models but this is printing without a raft and uh, it came out pretty good so a few more refinements and uh, we'll see what we come up with all right we'll talk to you later